There are nearly 8 billion people in the world and around 7,000 languages that are still spoken today. But many of these languages have very few speakers, so only a handful of the 7,000 languages dominate on a global scale. Because of colonization, global warming, and other socio-political reasons, some languages have flourished and grown, while others are on the brink of extinction. Today, we'll count down the eight most spoken languages in the world. Before we jump in, make sure to like and subscribe. Russian is the eighth most spoken language in the world. With roughly 258 million speakers, most people don't know that it's actually the most spoken language in Europe. That's pretty incredible. This Cyrillic alphabet-based language is the official tongue of Russia, Belarus, Kyrgyzstan, and Kazakhstan. And it's considered an unofficial lingua franca in Ukraine and many former Soviet countries. There are also decent-sized pockets of Russian-speaking communities in Eastern Europe and North America. Why should you learn Russian? Well, besides being able to communicate with Russian speakers, you can also dive into the literary world of authors like Tolstoy and Pushkin and enjoy Russian music. Plus, Russian is actually the internet's second most popular language right after English. So if you can't use Russian in person, you're guaranteed to run into it online. Number seven goes to La France. Oh, you don't say. French is spoken by 267 million people. Due to France's colonial history, French is an official language of 29 countries. French is also spoken on every continent, except Antarctica, with a major presence in Africa. French is often included in foreign language programs around the world, as it's a major language for commerce and fashion, which attracts many students. And Paris is the number one tourist destination in the world, so are we surprised that French is a go-to language to learn? If you want to work in global affairs, this language can be super handy, because French is also the procedural language for the European Union. This means that it's the only language used for deliberations at the Court of Justice for the EU and one of the recognized working languages of the United Nations. Admit it, you wouldn't have guessed that the number six spot would go to Bengali, but this language has 268 million speakers. It's hard to talk about Bengali without a quick history lesson. In 1947, the British imposed the Partition of Bengal. This divided the mainly Hindu West Bengal, a part of modern-day India, from the mainly Muslim East Bengal, which is now a part of Bangladesh. So this is why Bengali is spoken in both India and Bangladesh. It's the language of the Indian city of Kolkata, the Andaman Islands, and millions of Bangladeshis, many of whom are extremely vulnerable to climate change at the moment. 15% of this region's land area is expected to disappear below rising seas. Despite the effects of climate change on Bengali, the language has a promising future. It is projected that the population will double over the next century. It's no surprise that Arabic is on this list. Recent numbers put standard Arabic at around 274 million speakers. But this is an instance where numbers don't tell the full story. Arabic's dialects are vastly different. It's effectively a bunch of languages grouped together for the sake of convenience. Modern Standard Arabic is a primarily written form, closely related to the classical Arabic of the Quran. There are 25 countries that claim Arabic as an official or co-official language. These include Algeria, Chad, Lebanon, Libya, and more. Learning Arabic is a no-brainer because of the beauty of this language. In addition to its poetic nature, Arabic is a big deal in the worlds of business and international relations. Energy, construction, technology, and real estate industries have given big economic boosts to the petroleum powerhouse countries where Arabic is an official language. If a career in business or international relations is in your cards, Arabic might be a helpful language for you to learn. Our number four spot goes to El Espanol. 
With 543 million speakers, Spanish is a powerful international language. 20 countries have Spanish as an official language, most of which are, unsurprisingly, in Latin America. In addition, Spanish is taught as a foreign language option at many schools around the world. But don't be fooled, there are plenty of country-based differences when it comes to Spanish. Vocab words, grammar rules, and even pronunciation can vary quite a bit between Spanish-speaking countries. These linguistic differences come from Spanish mixing with indigenous languages in each country, as well as many other immigrant languages that were brought there. Despite these differences, most Spanish speakers can still understand each other. Why should you learn Spanish? Well, besides being able to understand your favorite bachata or merengue song, it'll come in handy when traveling, looking for new job opportunities, or simply connecting with other human beings. Plus, it's one of the easiest languages for English speakers to pick up. We took a trip to India and surrounding areas with Bengali, but let's come back to this linguistically diverse region to highlight Hindi. Spoken mainly in northern India and parts of Pakistan, Hindi has about 600 million speakers. Recently, there's been debate about Hindi's role in Indian education and society. Some political leaders want Hindi to replace English as the primary language of official communication and education in the southern Indian states. But attempts to put this into practice have been met with resistance. Politics aside, if you ever travel to the Indian subcontinent, a little Hindi will get you a long way. This is the language that gave us the words shampoo, jungle, and bungalow. What's not to love? Yep, Mandarin is the second most spoken language in the world. There are just over 1.1 billion people who speak Mandarin. If you wish to learn a language that one in six people in the world speak, this is the one for you. Mandarin is a tonal language and uses thousands of characters, so learning it will certainly keep you busy. There are plenty of reasons to learn a variety of Chinese. China's economy is quickly growing, which means that Mandarin, or the many other Chinese varieties, will come in handy for career opportunities, especially in business. Also, Chinese culture is extremely vibrant, so learning this tongue will give you a deeper appreciation of China's cultural exports. Oh, and did we mention that you'll be able to communicate with over a billion people? That's impressive. Okay, drum roll, please. The most spoken language in the world is English. It probably won't surprise you that English tops the list as it has a perceived universality, especially among its own speakers. And it has over 1.3 billion speakers. Due to the hot-blooded history of England's colonial rule, nearly 70 countries use English as an official language. Although most countries aren't under the rule of the British monarchy anymore, 54 nations are still part of the Commonwealth, which essentially makes English a must-learn language in these countries. Due to how widely spoken English is, it has become the lingua franca of business, travel, and international relations. On top of that, the United States, the UK, and Canada export a ton of media, like music, movies, and TV shows, to the world, which also reinforces the importance of learning English. If you're watching this video, there's probably a good chance you're already fluent in English. So, how does it feel to speak the most spoken language in the world? There you have it, the eight most spoken languages in the world. There are thousands of amazing languages spoken on this planet, but these are the ones that dominate on the global stage. So, the question is, which of these languages will you take on next?